A master clock is a precision clock that provides timing signals to synchronize slave clocks. As part of a clock network, networks of electric clocks connected by wires to a precision master pendulum clock began to be used in institutions like factories, offices, and schools. How does master clock system works? In a synchronized clock system, the master clock receives time from either an NTP server or GPS receiver or its internal clock can be utilized as a time source. When the master clock has received the correct time from either source, the time is then distributed to all slave clocks in the system. Today in this video we are going to learn about Boated Master Clock System Working Methodology and Configuration Process. The Boated Master Clock is a programmer designed to transmit reliable, consistent time to a network of analog or digital LCD and LED clocks. There are different types of the master clock controller available in the Bode factory, such as Sigma H, Sigma P, Sigma MOH, Sigma C. All this master clocks have different different feature, as you can see on my screen. In this video we are going to discuss Sigma C, its configuration, and the setting to make our digital clock synchronization with Sigma C. To configure the Sigma C controller, we need to have the Sigma configuration software from the Bode manufacturer. Basically, you will have the software CD from the manufacturer when you will purchase the Sigma device. First of all let's install the software. To do that insert the software CD into the computer. Then go to my computer from the start menu. And do will click on the CD drive where you have inserted the software CD. The Sigma Setup Wizard will open. Select the preferred location, and click on Next to continue. Once user clicks on Next the software starts the installation. Once the installation is completed, click on Done. After the installation, user will have the Bode Sigma software icon on the desktop. To open the software, right-click on its icon, and select Run as Administrator. Once the software opens, the user will have two options to program the Sigma controllers. Through flash drive, or either Ethernet network. Here I am going to program through Ethernet, and it is recommended for better performance. To start the program click on the Ethernet option. Once the user selects the Ethernet option, the software starts searching Sigma on the IP network and it should automatically detect the Sigma controllers, available in the network. As you can see now, it's not detecting my controller even I have connected the controller to my PC, through a network cable. To resolve this issue, let me go to the controller, and change the IP address manually, to detect it easily. Power on for the Sigma controller, and wait for the complete booting. While booting the OS, you will see different types of messages on the LCD screen such as Micro Quartz Sigma Booting and initiate driver LCD 2x24 and version of the OS, that is 1.1 A6 if the user presses any key before booting completed the OS it will show on the display that the system is busy please wait as you can see now once the system booting is completed it will display the time and date as per the factory settings Upon first power on, user has to change the language. To do that press the menu button, and then check for the language option by pressing the down arrow.
Once you change the preferred language, press the OK button to set the selected language. Exit the menu by pressing Exit button. To change the IP address of the device manually, user has to enter into the Technician menu. To enter into the Technician menu, press one of the navigation key for a few seconds. The Technician menu is only accessible via an access code. Let's enter the access code, that is upper arrow, right arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and menu button. The technician code is a fixed code. Once the user enters into the technician menu, navigate the IP address option by pressing down arrow. Here the user has to change DHCP mode. And then enter new IP address. Press OK button to continue. Then enter the subnet mask. Press OK button to continue. Then enter the default gateway. Press OK button to continue. Once the user changes the IP address it will take a while to memorize the new IP address. Now we have changed the IP address of the controller. Let me go back to software and try to detect the Sigma controller. Here first of all user have to change the IP address of the computer as per the controller's IP range. To detect the controller by software, let me change the IP address of my computer. Now let's check whether the software will detect the controller or not by clicking on the update button. As you can see, here the software has been detected the Sigma controller. To connect to the controller, click on the connect and transfer to PC. It will take a while to connect the controller please wait. The setup wizard let you modify parameters which may cause the system to malfunction. Do you wish to start the setup wizard? Click on yes to continue. The Configuration Assistance First step is to allocate options cards. Allocation of an options card enables you to expand the capacity of the master clock. The physical installation of the cards must done only when the master clock is switched off for the Sigma H, P, or C. On a Sigma MOD the cards can be installed with the power on. See the corresponding master clock instructions. Once the master clock is switched back on, or when cards have been installed correctly, the options cards will be detected automatically. In the software, by default, options card allocation is locked. To add an options card click on Unlock. Add an options card by clicking the drop-down menu. As of now we don't have any card to add, so leave it as it is. To continue click on Next. Saunders and Relays. This menu may be used to configure the relays of the master clock's main card. On my project, I don't have any saunders or relays to configure this setting, so I will leave this options as it is. To continue click on Next. External Inputs. This menu may be used to enable or disable the use of external input of the master clock used to manually activate or deactivate a circuit. For example, this option may be used to Set off an evacuation siren manually from the IP4 button control box. On my project, I don't have any external inputs to configure this setting, so I will leave this options as it is. To continue click on Next. IP Devices. This menu may be used to identify all products found on the network. Devices are sorted by product family. Such as Harmonies. Harmons Trio. Harmony's flash, microphone, control box, and relays. This is the menu in which the devices found on the network will be allocated to a zone. As of now, we don't have any devices on my project, which is mentioned above. On my project, only I have a digital clock to display time and date, 
which we will see further in this video. So I will ignore this setting and move forward to continue by clicking on Next. Time Source This menu is used to set the master clock date and time manually or automatically. The function may also be used to enter the master clock's method of synchronization and the time zone for time distribution to changing the date and time manually. Click on Date and Time and then set the date and time from the drop-down menu, Calendar. To make the time synchronization automatically, click the drop-down menu from the type of synchronization to select the master clock mode of synchronization only if a master clock time distribution is present on the installation. For time distribution, different synchronization types are used to define the mode of communication between the master clock and receiving clocks. Here we have installed a GPS antenna for time synchronization. So I will select the type of synchronization as GPS. Then select the time zone by clicking on the drop-down menu, as per your preferred region. If you don't find the time zone for your region, in the below list, then you have to select PROG. Once you select PROG option from the list, you will see a new option on the screen as UTC offset. The UTC Universal Time Coordinated Offset is the difference in hours and minutes between Coordinated Universal Time UTC, and Local Solar Time at a particular place. By convention, every inhabited place in the world has a UTC offset that is a multiple of 15 minutes but the majority of offsets are stated in whole hours. Get UTC offset value for your region and set the value for correct time synchronization. To continue, click on Next. Time Outputs The master clock associated with the Sigma software to use for time distribution on Bode clocks by means of two communication modes. DHF, or Ethernet Network. DHF is a wireless clock system. This technology is used for the synchronization of a network of clocks in one or more buildings without connecting the clocks with cables. The slave clocks capture the time message and are synchronized automatically. The signal has a range of around 100 to 200 meters. The DHF terminal sends the time codes to slave clocks, received from the master clock. To make the parameter settings in DHF, select the main card tab, then configure the DHF power level, as per the DHF transmitter device. And then select the broadcasting channel using the drop-down menus. Enable the DHF communication mode by clicking on the clock icon. When the communication is enabled, the icon of the clock will change, as you can see on the screen. Let me clear you that I don't have any wireless devices installed on my project. So I will ignore this settings. To make Sigma device as an NTP server for the network, make the parameter settings in the Ethernet network. Select the NTP server tab. Click on Add to create a multicast address. Enter the master clocks, emission, multicast address. Using the drop-down menu, enter the emission period in seconds. This period is the time between each data frame sent by the master clock. Using the drop-down menu, enter the TTL index, recommended value, 64. This setting indicates the maximum number of routers, switches that the information sent by the master clock will have to go through. Key number. Must be a number identical for the master clock and the product for establishing communication. Enable the communication mode by clicking the clock icon. When the communication is active, the icon will change, as you see in the previous setting. We are not going to use multicast communication for our digital clock, so I am not going to focus on this setting. To continue click on Next. Customizing the master clock. There are two different types of customization setting. First is general. By customizing the master clock you can access the clock type and the name given by the user. It may be changed any time to ease the installation, if there are several master clocks. The second customization setting is setup. Where the user can make the customized setting as follows. Master clock language. To change the language of the master clock. Click the drop down menu to change the master clock language. The next is. Master Clock Configuration Master, to configure the master clock as a primary master clock. Backup, to configure the master clock as a secondary master clock. For this configuration, 
the installation must already have a primary master clock and a Sigma switch module. The next is time format in idle mode. 24 hours, to define the 24-hour clock, the day begins at midnight and is divided into 24 hours. 12 hours, to define the 12-hour clock, the day is divided into two periods of 12 hours each. One ending at midday and the other beginning at that time and ending at midnight. The next is Backlight in idle mode. This setting for master clock LCD screen lighting. The master clock LCD screen backlighting, when idle, may be set according to two options. Low, or off. The next is User access code. The access code is used to protect your configurations. If the user enables this option, it will ask to set a password to log in into the master clock configuration. However, I don't want to set any passwords right now. Let me continue the video by clicking on Next. Alarms. This menu is used to display the list of alarms feedback to the software by the master clock. Once you make the complete setting and configuration of the connected master clock as per your project aspects, save the configuration into master clock by clicking on Save to Sigma option. From main menu, Save to Sigma is used to save the configuration set up from the software to the master clock. Once the configuration is completed, we have to configure the digital clock for time and date synchronization with the master clock. In the next video, we will see the digital clock configuration. The link of the video given the description. Hope you have learned the Bode master clock configuration from starting to ending. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you like my explanation, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I have seen many of you guys watching my video, but not subscribing. Please do the subscription right now before you close the video. And press the bell icon to get notified whenever we uploaded a new video. If you have any queries, or you need the technical support please contact us we will give complete solutions for all the ELV systems. See you in the next video.